Hello everyone and welcome to Pamela and Johnny's Motorhome Journeys and this is our first outing in 2021. We are in Cork in Bally de Hob. I'll put a description um, of the GPS code where, where we are. I always have them in all my videos of places where we've been. I put the description and if the place have a website I, I put everything in the description below. So anyway today we are we arrived last night actually we are in Bally de Hob. So Bally de Hob on the map is right there here that's where Bally de Hob is. Um, yep so we'll just show you around. Johnny We'll show you around now. Johnny is just out here. You have lovely picnic benches dotted around. And here's where we are. Now we shouldn't really be here. Um, we, uh, we'll show you now where the camper vans park. Just that we came very late last night. So um, there's water tap right there. Chipper van right there. And there's toilets then off in there beside the community centre. They'll be closed and opened. Opened at 8 o'clock in the morning and closed at eight o'clock at night so we'll just quickly show you around i don't think we, we you know i don't think they like people parked along here so uh, we'll have to move you know as soon as we get space down below we're going to move so we'll show you where people usually go there's lovely views out onto the lake see the little mermaid over there i don't know will she come out on, on this now but you know it's a beautiful area you know and it's Lovely little park to walk around and there's bins there but they're chained up. Um you can walk on the on the viaduct. Is that a viaduct, Johnny? Yeah. Tis lovely little chairs seated around everywhere. Um no it's absolutely fabulous up here, I loved it. And the camper vans then are parked down there. So they are. And more than just right underneath the arches here and this beautiful this sculpture it's made of wood absolutely fabulous it's a it's an eagle is it johnny I think so, yeah. yeah it's fabulous so this absolutely lovely mm -hmm. it's fabulous around here we'll show you up in the village now and all that now in a while um but as it says there's toilets and a and a um, fresh water tap but down here is where they prefer the camper vans to park so as soon as we get ro soon as we get as one moves we're going to pop down <laughs> please god and if not we'll have to move on um absolutely beautiful i'd say it'd be lovely when the tide comes in dan and mazzy were here as well from the travel trolls tv so that's how i found out about this place um from dan and mazzy and where mazzy went up onto the viaduct for a walk but the, along here now is where they prefer you to park. Um, it's absolutely lovely. Take a walk up here, Johnny. Yeah, I do, yeah. Yeah. Lovely kind of walking areas up there. And here, we are, here we are then up top of the viaduct. Lovely walk over that way. Um, it's kind of a nature trail. Oh, I'm better for going up them steps. This is up on the viaduct. There's a witch. Yeah. If it was a train. Was it? Oh, it is. It was a very narrow one. Yeah. It would have been wicked narrow. But was it for trains though? Oh, oh yeah, sure. It, 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 the last train was 1947, actually, yeah. No, it's absolutely beautiful now, the, the scenery. And there's the guy down there then with, with his camera that was taking photos of, um, uh, of Mazzy. <laughs> He's a statue down there. I don't know if you can see him. Absolutely lovely. What's it like on this side? I'm going to put you over now, hope you're not afraid of heights, lads. You know. Absolutely lovely. God, I love it up here. Bally de Hob. And it's just absolutely lovely and peaceful. 
We'll have a look down this one. Yeah. Absolutely lovely. Lovely, isn't it, Chani? You can walk, walk around there. And the, the village then is off up that way. And we came over that bridge over there. So we did. It's absolutely lovely here. So it's free overnight parking as well. Absolutely fabulous. I don't know, can you see the mermaid right down there? She, she's made of stone. <laughs> it's wood again. Oh, it's wood? Yeah, and it seems to be uh, a stainless back on her. Johnny reckons it's made of wood and it has a stainless back on her, where the tail is. Yeah. Seems to be a walk down, down along there as well. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Oh, it's absolutely lovely. God, I love it up here. God, I'd say it'd be lovely during the, when it's wicked sunny. Little playground then uh, down off over there. But anyway, as I said, I'll have the description of where this is um, in the description below. I'll have the rich, I mean, uh, should I say, um, in the description below. Underneath this video, you'll see in all my videos, I'll always write the description of where we are, um, the coordinates of where we are. If, the, if it's a campsite, I'll always write down the telephone number, the website, the email. They'll always, always be at the bottom of each and every one of my videos. But because it's, a, you know, a wild camping, I, I, I just be only putting the GPS of the, how to get up here. You know, to put in your sat nav. Lovely steps, little seating area there. God, it's lovely. Absolutely lovely. And I think if you're into bird watching, this is a good place to be. Johnny, I'll just be back in a minute. These are the different birds that you'll spot up here if you're into bird watching. You know, these are all the birds. A mute swan, a robin, a curlo. Yeah, you'll see them all there. A dipper. Song thrush. Yep. There's your lovely fire duct again. Yeah, it's a fire duct, an aqueduct is with water. Now we'll take a little nose over here. Oh, it's lovely. This is our first time being out in 2021. This is our first time out, is it, Johnny? This year? Yeah, it's our first time out this year. And Mossy is loving it as well, aren't you Mossy? All the little walkies. Little walkie bukus, Moss. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Then you're walking along here then as well. Loads of little walks around here. Just have to d discover it, you know. There's your man over there with the camera taking photos again. Mazzy's stalker. <laughs> Dan and Mazzy. They're actually over in England now, back so they are again, travelling around. They live in their motor home, I think, full time. They do actually, yeah. They live in it full time. No. Oh no, they were only joking. They bought an, um, uh, an air awning and they pretended they, they, you know, they were calling that their house. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Absolutely lovely. And there's a lovely statue again then of that man. Now. Pally de Hob. And then we're just walking up to the village then, right here. Look at that lovely um, painting on the on the wall of the house or shed. It's absolutely fabulous. Down there then is the parking. And up here is the village. So we'll have a nose up here now. Here's your village then. And your shop is just right there. Um Nice little village too, nice colours. Come to Johnny. 
nice colors. There's your shop then. Huh? Yeah, it does be busy, yeah. God, I hope we don't have to go up that way in the camper. Although Dan and Mazzy drove down that way when they came here. There's a little cafe right there if you want some coffee and all that. Nice little shops, so another little place here then. You can get takeaways, takeaway dinners and all that. Come up here for them. Takeaway dinners. Mmm. Oh. Johnny loves playing instruments. Oh, it's actually a big village, Johnny. Oh, it's very big. Another statue up there. Oh, it's lovely. Who's, we'll have to, I think Dan and Mazzy went over looking at him. There's the statue again, Dan O'Mahony. He was a champion weightlifter and rated the strongest man in the world. And he died in a motor accident in 1950. Trust that man there. No. Oh. That's a nice big village. Bigger than my village. <laughs> it's lovely. And here's another walk. Just just as you come out into it from where you park, you come over across this little bridge. So you can see all the camper vans over there in the distance. You'll see our one now in a minute. There's our one. Uh, I don't know what kind of be picked up on this though. Our camper van. Little park then inside there. Swings and oh look at that look at them. Are they made of wood again? Oh, I'd love to. A, f a fox and a rabbit. Fox and, uh, and cubs and rabbits. Jeez, I'd like to get close to them now. Because I think they're lovely the way they're made. Hang on now, you stay there because I'd be afraid. Yeah. I'm trying to quickly show you these now. Because I'm in a, in a park, you know, where there's children and all that, so. I just thought these were fabulous. I want to know what they're made of. There's a rabbit. Oh my God, they're so cool. What are they made of? Um, I think it's made of, of wood. So they are. God, it's gorgeous. Absolutely lovely. The big, huge, gigantic rabbit then over there. God, they're lovely. So cool the way they make things. How they make them out of wood. And this gigantic rabbit then over here. <laughs> made of wood again, is it? I think they're made of wood. I'm fully sure that they're made of wood. But anyway, aren't they gorgeous? That's just, we're over there then straight across. Then down there then is where the other camper vans are. Yeah. Absolutely fabulous. And just off the children's play area, there's another little walk which will bring you back to where we're parked. As you can see here, the Bally de Hob Nature Trail. Absolutely fabulous. And this then is another, is the other little walk that will bring you back to where we first kind of came on. You can go straight on and around, or else you can go up onto the onto the viaduct again. What's in it? Yeah, the stone. I don't know what it was though. Yeah. 
probably blew off or something. So I'll go out in front to have a look at the yeah. the nice nice little walk. You know, we're we're over there. Do Johnny. You call me back if you spot Anton. It's absolutely lovely the little walk, you know I I, I love it here. You know. And it brings you back underneath the arches again. Where I came down them steps earlier on. You can turn right and bring you up to where I am now. You know, it's lovely the arches. Absolutely lovely. You know, it's great to just jump in your camper van and head off and see where the wind takes you. I love the way these are made. They're, they're lovely stonework. These are lovely as well. Yep. Absolutely delish. Oh. Tell you all the little things to keep an eye out for. Wildlife in Ballydahab. There's the camper vans again over there. You enjoying your little walkies, Moss? Mossy, you enjoying your little walkies? Now, we'll see you in a bit. We're just going to take this walk up here to see where it'll bring us. This will take you back down onto the, onto the viaduct, back down to where the camper vans are. So we'll just have a Google now and see where this takes us. See the camper vans kind of through the trees there. See where this will take us. Did you say you should? Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Well, it was, it was. <laughs> nice flowers along here. Sure, it's kind of a trees and shrubs. Plant, plant life and all that. It's lovely, you know, lovely peaceful area and we had a lovely night's sleep as well. No disturbance, no nothing. Very, very quiet. Very quiet, thank God. I have a nose now, see where this takes us. This just seems to be kind of, well, you can go go off up that way if you want. Oh, you know, can you? Oh, this, that's a dead end. Uh, hang on, Johnny. No, this is a dead end. This up here. It is, Johnny, look. And then, but you'd have, they'll have to walk down where you are if they want to go further. That's okay, Johnny's still a booboos. <laughs> Come down this way then. So we're going to go down, back down to where the camper vans are. But you can walk up the way if you want. Oh, under a little, little bridge in a minute. Now, oh God, imagine get, getting your, coming under here with the camper. You, would you? God, I wouldn't. I'd have a heart attack up that way but we'll come back down this way underneath this bridge jeez I don't know I'd be you probably would but I try to avoid them as much as possible well we Johnny's the driver I couldn't drive the camper van if you gave me the lotto nice nice around here like nice and quiet like in the Jodos So this road then will just take you on to where the to start to where the camper vans are. And now for food, we got our food from Antonio's Restaurante. It's just up there in the main street in Ballydahab. You can order the food online and go up and collect it. This uh, took us took us thirty minutes, and um, I'll be honest with you now about the price. Mine is a fish fish box. Well, it's not called a fish box. It was called something fritto. And this was 18 euro. But sure, hey, you live once. And uh, uh, Johnny's is a chicken box. And that's 16 euro. But I think 
we weren't expecting this much. So this would do a family. So I don't know how we're going to <laughs> manage it. You know, well, I don't know. We'll have to call other camper vanners to join us or something. But anyway, um, yeah, that's the fish box and the chicken box. And um, uh, that's up in um, Antonio's restaurant. The chipper, uh, there is a chipper van across the road from here, but it only opens of a Friday night from five to eight. Now, during the summer, you know, as we're going on into the summer, they might open for the whole week, you know, for the whole weekend Friday or and Friday and Saturday. And of course of all, you'd have to wash it down with a Copperberg strawberry and lime. It's a must. But anyway, we must gobble all this beautiful food up now. Well, we'll try anyway. <laughs> and uh, we will see you in a bit. We just said we'd come back and let you know how the food is and it's absolutely delicious. Um, these are little prawns on a stick and they're fabulous. I can, I can taste a little bit of, like as if coconut flakes are there, but they're not overpowering, they're fabulous. Um, these are other little, uh, now lads, I'm no good at the names of of these uh, fishes. Um, what did you say, Johnny? Uh, squid, Annie, is, is one of them. Um, Prawns, squid, king prawns, and, these shrimp. Little, and shrimp. And then you got these guys as well, and mm -hmm. chips. And oh my God, absolutely to die for lads! You, 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 if you're coming here to Ballydob, you have to, you just have to, go up to Antonio's Restaurante. Either ring it in, or do it all online. And Johnny really enjoyed his barbecue chickens. They're uh, spicy chicken. Uh, what, what, what are they? Like southern fried. Southern fried chickens and then chicken nuggets and chips and all sorts of gorgeous things. And you can have any dip popcorn chicken as well. And oh my god, so it's absolutely fabulous. You, you must go up there when you come here, lads. Absolutely, and it's lovely picnic benches outside. Go out and enjoy your food out there. So we're going to try and master the rest of this food and we will be back to you again in a while. So we're coming in near an end to our video here in Bally the Hob. Um, hopefully everyone um, enjoyed our video and um, if you do please subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Um, please like and share and um, uh, yeah that's another thing too we actually pushed back a little bit. No one kind of really came near us so we said we'll chance staying where we are because the place down further is a bit full. Um, it's handy because there's water just right over there as well and uh, picnic benches and you know, we were speaking to a few locals and they, they said it was all right where we were. Um, you know but it's lovely around here anyway. As you know yourself, you leave nothing but your footprints. You know, Bernary, you know, any little rubbish around, you just pick it up and throw it in the bin. But uh, it's lovely here in Bally de Hob. So now that's it for now. Please like and share, hit the subscribe button, and uh, I think that's it. So bye bye for now. <laughs>